All right, first and foremost, I'm going to say all honor and praises be unto Yeah, how about Shemuel Shai? Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the sincere Akim out there teaching this truth and sincerity, man. And um, basically, I want to speak on this clip, speak on the pride of Esau. You know, and it's, it just simply should be an example unto you, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That look, man, the white man's your fucking enemy, man, and they have no remorse for when they did, when they spot your people, whatever they did to your people, they have no remorse, man. And one thing, you so called fucking crackers, you what, you so called people who call yourselves white. One thing you need to realize is that you will pay for slavery, man, because the people who you touched, right, are the chosen people of God, man. They are the Hebrew Israelites of the Bible, the chosen nation upon the earth. Benefited from their experience. Africans have benefited from their experience with white supremacy, and we just have to look at the. Really, I'm just yeah. gonna leave that out there. I'm just gonna leave that. Out. You know, that is not even worth challenging. Well, I'm quite conflicted about interviewing Richard Spencer. He's the leader of what they call the alt-right, which I think is a new word for fascism. And ordinarily, giving someone like that oxygen is something I think journalists shouldn't do. But here's the difference. Spencer and people like him credit themselves with providing the intellectual underpinnings for the Trump revolution. And I fear they might be right. This is a group of people with very dangerous ideas. Richard, how do you do? Um, uh, so are you the interviewer? I'm the interviewer. Okay, I'm Gary right. Young. Good yes. to see you. Nice to see you. Look at the average um, life of an African American in the United States. It's far better than any African living in Africa. Really? So slavery of bullshit, man. Those listen man, those 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 Jakes over there man in the United States, even though they may have a bit more funds, right? <laughs> That that they're, they're equally going mm -hmm. through their fucking own hell, man. You know, they're fucking equally going through, through the, 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 their own hell, man. They're, they're, the, those those jakes, man. Those jakes over there, man, in the states are destroyed, man. They 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 don't know who they are, right? They're poor too. They're afflicted too. You know, they're 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 they're, they're basically esteemed. As the uh, uh, the, the the of society, man. You know, they're killing each other. But the, the the main reason as to why they do that is you know down to the curses, of course. But you set up the institutions. You set up the. Uh, material for these jakes to kill each other man and then you say oh well they're killing each other well you you actually give them the things the tools to kill each other but then your fucking pride comes forth and say you know actually it's them when it's you man you crackers you crackers don't understand right that your kingdom is going going right down, man. It was good for them. I, it, look, they benefited from being in a different nation than their... What, 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 what fucking pros came to the so-called Negroes in slavery, man? They came when they were on the ships, man. A good portion of them knew they were Hebrew Israelites. And that's a fact. When they dwelt in the western part of Africa, even though they were, I don't say no perfect, they were still going enough, right? But a good portion of them knew their heritage to, to some extent. And now you're trying to basically say, okay, now, okay, um, uh, that 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 they um benefited from slavery. You know you benefited from slavery. You benefited from fucking slavery, man. Don't fucking chat shit. Their own, no doubt. Really? Yeah, no really? doubt. How can you deny that? Sorry. 
how can you deny such it's an obvious such fact? A ridiculous how notion. Is it ridiculous? It's such a ridiculous, how is it ridiculous? notion that people forcibly removed from their homes and taken to this country to work for nothing for a couple of centuries that that benefited them. I'm Have you ever, it. for a second, considered that if they were able to stay in the countries where they were born and lived and weren't forcibly removed, that those continents might be in a better state now? I seriously doubt that. To what extent do you feel that? Trump shares your viewpoints. I, mean, I don't think he shares the ideal of the ethno state. I don't think he shares my conscious thinking about race or the conscious thinking about race of most people in this in this building. But does he have nationalist feelings? And won't pay for it. But that's not Russia in the United States. The ideal of the ethno state. I don't think he shares my conscious thinking about race or the conscious thinking about race of most people in this in this building but does he have nationalist feelings i think that's clear i mean he wouldn't have run the campaign that he ran if he didn't feel some sense of loss we are losing our nations here in the, in the united states in britain across the world i'm not we losing my nation i'm british I'm you're not, not using your nation because you're winning this democratic battle well, am i winning, well, am I winning? i'm people, living in the pace of my birth white, white just like you but that's not I really should, your home. You don't get to tell me where my home is. But you know that that's not your real home. Please don't your tell me. Your ancestors Please don't tell me what didn't I know. build it. Sorry? Listen, my ancestors built it tenfold. That's fact, man. Look, man. How the British Empire got, 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 got really rich is it, it, through, through conquering and slavery, man. The, 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 the um... Sh sugar e exports and, and and trade was a very um great um example of that. I won't pay for it. <laughs> Look, it's like you, saying that really, African you could have enslaved someone else. It's like saying else. African Americans really. built the United States. Like they did, but we they couldn't literally <laughs> build the White House because we made them do it. Oh, who's the, who's and you're the proud most, of that. Who's you're the well, it, it's had bad consequences, but the fact is, yes, I am ultimately proud of You're it. You're proud of slavery. I'm, I'm ultimately proud of my ancestors because... You're proud of slavery? I, am, I embrace all of it. Did. You'll it's never be an Englishman. You don't and get to tell me yeah, I do, what I actually, will be. Because my name's Richard Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Richard Spencer yes. and I approve this message. Yes, and so therefore I ridiculous. actually, I actually, I actually do get so to tell not, you, 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 you that you're not sorry, an Englishman. You, you, you don't get to tell me anything. You're a ridiculous You guy. don't even know. The interview's over. You've got nothing to say. I was looking for someone who could give some intellectual ballast to what's going on in this country in terms of race and in terms of white people, but I found the wrong guy. Because you don't know what you're talking about. See, that just shows the pride of Esau, man. And now we're going to get some some scriptures, man. Because they don't care about what they actually did, man. They actually embrace the fact they had us in slavery, man. This is um Zechariah 11 and 5. Who's possessed a slave him and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not, man. So those who had us in slavery, those who who possessed us and slew us, they 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 hold themselves no not guilty. They don't give a shit. But that's cool because why? We gonna have them in slavery, man. We gonna have you fucking crackers, you white people, you so-called people who call yourselves white. We gonna have you in slavery. This is Revelation 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Now the saints, according to the scriptures, are the Hebrew Israelites, man. We are the saints. And you led us into captivity, so we gonna have you in captivity. And when we have you in captivity, yeah, we ain't going to show you any mercy, man. Because he's all puffed up and proud, right? But his, his country, the United States of America, is going to be, is going to be destroyed. And, and after it's... The Lord whom you call Jesus Christ 
he going he going gather you along with, with, with his chosen men to have you fuckers in slavery, man. And we uh, and we gonna do the same thing you crackers did to us and more. Psalms one thirty seven and seven. Remember, O oh Lord, the children of Edom in the day of D -D -D Jerusalem, who said, "Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof." O oh, daughter of of of, of, of Babylon. Who ought to be destroyed? Happy shall he, he, he be that re re rewarded thee as thou hast served us. So you 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 read the mites, man, are the daughter of Babylon, and your main stronghold being Babylon the Great is over there in the United States of America, man. And the scripture says. You Edomites, we we as the Hebrew Israelites gonna be happy when we reward you as you served us, man. In fact, even says here, happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. So we gonna be singing praises to the Lord when we're bashing your infant's head against walls when we have you Edomites in slavery in the kingdom of heaven. Cause in the kingdom of heaven, we gonna have you Edomites in slavery, man. Right? We're gonna have you you Edomites in slavery. Because why you're puffed up and proud. You don't think you're ever gonna pay for what you did. You think America's gonna just continue for eternity and you guys are always gonna be uh, uh, above us. But that's but that ain't the case. This is Amos 1 and 11, and I'm gonna end the scripture this scripture. Thus saith the Lord, Shai, for three transgressions of Edom and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword. Man, if you see a, a, a lion hunt his prey, he pursues that. He forcibly sets his whole heart on that prey and chases it as fast as he can. And that's what you was doing to us, man. You had no pity on us. To the point that you, 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 your um, children as of this day are puffed up and proud, man. And he's thinking, my ancestors, my ancestors, that's right. But guess what? You are your ancestors, man. It says, because he did pursue his brother with the sword and is cast off all pity. And his anger did tear perpetually and he's kept his wrath forever. And that's... That's unto this day now. That's unto this day. That's unto this day right now. The, the, they, the, they they honestly kept kept that wrath unto unto this day. But they don't understand that a time gonna come that we gonna have you in slavery. And you 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 know you guys might say, oh well, well I didn't do it. No, you did. This is Isaiah fourteen and twenty one. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. That's right. Because why? You so-called people call yourselves right now. You are your ancestors, man. And you're going to pay for slavery, man. So, you know, with that, I'm going to say, all honor and praise be to the Abba Shema Shai. Double honors to the apostles and others of the great moonstone. Shalom.